In this example, we have two tables. A first one, containing a list of products with an ID as primary key, and a second one, representing various parameters that can be assigned to each product. Each row of the parameters table is a single parameter, and that means that if we want the whole set of parameters a product can have, we must scroll the entire parameters record set, joining the products ID field with the ID of products table. We will request all the fields from products table plus the fields label and parameter from the parameters table. In our query, the slider table was called P1. Using an inner join, the query will discard products that don't have at least a record on parameters table. If we execute this query, we'll get three records, each one with the full product's information and different label and parameter fields. That can be fine, but it is uh, redundant about products. Then there are cases in which we want a single row that exposes all possible information and not a multi-record split. Parameters table has a primary key on product ID label ID and we can exploit it for our purposes. Let's complete our join, adding a condition in which we request only records with a label ID that equals to 1. We'll obtain a record with products information plus the parameters identified by first label ID occurrence. We can write multiple inner join on parameters table, calling it with distinct names each time and working on different label ID, like this another query show us. This way, we can retrieve products information along with their parameters on a single row. To include products without parameters correspondence, it is sufficient to substitute each inner join with a left join.